Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new series um, for Mega No. 33. If you don't know, um, they do a lot of, um, not necessarily just the Fog of Wars, but they have multiple series where there's kind of, uh, they take a concept and run with it in multiple puzzles. This is the latest of those series. I think this came out oh, probably a week or so ago at this point, but I'm behind. I'm always behind on it because there's so many puzzles out there, but this new series is the, the Fog is a Gas series. So this one is called This Fog is a Dotted Gas. And it's by, of course, Megan033. So let's take a look at the rules and see if we can get this thing figured out. So we've got normal Sudoku rules. So every row, column, and 3x3 three three box will contain the digits 1 through 9 once each. Then we've got the grid is partially covered with fog. Correctly placed digits will clear the fog around that cell. No guessing is required. So this will be normal fog rules. Uh, so if we figure out what this digit is, all of this would clear out and we'd hopefully have more clues reveal themselves. And then we just have one rule to work with besides the fog, which is crop key. So a black dot between cells indicates cell values with a 2 to 1 ratio. White dot between cells indicates cells with consecutive values and not all dots are given. So these are consecutive digits. These are a 2 to 1 ratio. Or these are one of these is double the other. And that's it. So... With that said, let's kick off this new series and see uh, how much fun we're going to have with this, because I know I'm going to. And with that said, links in the description below. Let's just get at it. No reason to keep talking. We can get solving. So let's think. Start up here, because we know this is going to be a, a certain set of digits on a black crop key series. So it's going to have to be from the 1, 2, 4, 8 grouping, because obviously you can't have 5, 7, or 9, or the 3, 6 pairing here. This can't be the extreme. That means this does have a 2 and a 4. If it has a 2 and a 4, this has to be the 3, 6 pair. Now we have to make the 5, 7, 9, or one of the others, but it, there's always going to be 2 of the 5, 7s, and 9s on this thing. Now we can't put a 5 on here, because we would have to have a 4 or a 6. So this one does not have a 5. If it doesn't have a 5, it's going to have the 7 and the 9, and the 5 is going to be placed here. Now, if this is a 7 and 9, it must be 7, 8, 9. We can redo our digits there. Now we know there is no 8, which means this middle digit is the 2. Again, we can do a little bit of cleanup. And let's get rid of all that stuff. We don't need it anymore, so... Cool. Now we've got the, the vast majority of this middle section now cleared out. So let's see what other things we have in store for us. This can't be a 1, so it's 4 and 1. This 5 can't go with the 6, so it must go with the 4. Now we can't say what this is. It's either a 3 or a 5. What else do we have? This 4 must go with a 3 or a 5. So we do get a 3-5 pair there. That's something to think about. Um, what else do we have? This black crop key? Um, the only thing we know about it really is that it can't be... Well, it can't be a 1-2. Because if it was a 1-2, this one obviously can't be the 1, but it also can't be a 2. Oh no, it could be a 2. Sorry. I was thinking... Incorrectly, this could be a two to go up to a three. Sorry, I was thinking about the, the, the one and the four with the two, but it's on black, not on the white. Okay. So, like I said, we can't really rule too much out about this one. It can't be an eight four. That's about all I think we can really do there. So maybe we need to start thinking about some of these other groupings. Like this Essentially, we have a pair of black crop keys that are consec or have a consecutiveness to them. Now, obviously, the one, two, and two can't. Um, thinking about it in terms of the one, two, four, eight, and the three sixes. So, if we were to not have a three six on here, this would obviously never work because we can't. Or is that obvious? Let's think about that. One, two, four, eight. Yeah, because these would have to be a one, two pair. 
because obviously two, four, and eight aren't working. So if we have a one, two pair here, no matter where you put the one, it's going to have two twos on it. Okay. So what that says is that one of these is a three, six pair. Can we figure out which one that is? Um, that's a good question. I was trying to think about it between these guys and what must come off of it for the white crop key here, but I don't know that that does anything. I'm going to put these in just as graphical here. Now, if this was a three, this could go down to a two. If it's a six, it could go up to a seven. If this is a three, it could go down to a two. And if it was a six, it would break because this can't B5 or 7. And let's, let's put the options in and see if we can figure anything else out from this. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this or, or one of these other clues is more useful at the moment, but we're going to think about it this way. We said these can't be ones because no matter what you did with them, they would break something. This can't be a 1 because it would be a 1, 2, and there's nothing to connect the 2 to. Uh, this can't be a 2 just by the basics there. Neither one of these can be 8s, and neither one can be 6. So it's either a 2, 3, or a 3, 4. So neither of these can be 3s because we're always going to have a 3 there. What more can we remove from this guy? Can't be a four. Oh, this four here says this is three. There we go. Therefore, this is six. And one, this can't, no, it could be three, four, two, three. This can't be an eight though. Okay. Alrighty. So we know one of these is a two. We just don't know what exactly works with let's see now with yeah here we go so we now we have this six so this must be seven <clears throat> this guy being one two or four does it do anything here if it's a one this is a two if it's a two this is a one if it's a four it can't be a four because this can't be three or five excuse me three or five Make sure that's right before we mess with it. I think we're going to find something here too. Because I think this is either going to be 212 or 121, right? Because it can never go up to the three. So this has to just be another 1 2 pair. Good. Now, can we figure anything about this column here? Like, where does a six go? It has to go up here. The eight we don't know about and the nine we don't know about okay so that didn't give us a ton there let's see what the six here though gives us three and six if we cut back to our sudoku what about you now because now you are getting more restricted because of this guy here this cannot be from one two four eight because all of the options are essentially taken so this is a three six which means this is five and three good now, that forces this to be a 4. This being a 3 or a 6, it must be the 6 and the 3. Because if this was a 3, this couldn't be 2 or 4. This has to be 5 or 7. What else we got? <clears throat> Taking a quick gander at Sudoku, but I don't know. That. So let's continue the process here. If this is a 5, this would have to be 6, because it can't go down to 4. If it's a 7, it could go to 6 or 8, which means this is either 3 or 4, because 6, 3, or 8, 4. If this is a 6, these are a 5, 7. If it's an 8, it's a 7 or a 9. I don't think there's anything 
else reducing that. Okay, maybe we go down this side here. What if this is a three? Could be two, one. It can't be four, five. If it's a four, it can't go to the three, so it'd have to go to the five, six. Okay, the one, two pair here says this just is five. If that's five, this is four, this is six. That four says this is eight. Therefore, this is seven. This is nine. Good. Anything crossing over? No. What about you? You could be one, two. Can't be five. Or it could be six. Just thinking about the, the row. But obviously, you can't put five on a black crop key. So if this is a one, this is a two. If it's a two, it could be a one. Can't be a four. And if it's a six, it's a three three. You can't be one. We should have started there, because if it is, this would be a two, and this would be a two. So two could go with the one or a three, and the six could go with a five or a seven. Okay. I think we're getting off into territory here. That's not being completely helpful for us, but that's okay. So what else? Maybe we just need to look at a little bit of Doku to get us moving here. Let's see if anything pops out at us. Oh, the four. There we go. This is a two. Therefore, this is one, two, one. Good. There we go. Just takes a little Sudoku sometimes. This cannot be two, two, so it is three, six. This is not one or three. Good. And do we want to jump into these, or do we want to look back at Sudoku one more time? Because again, we can look at the four. One of these needs to be a four. Could this be a four? It can't go down to three, so it would have to go up to five and then six, which it can't do. So this is four. Let's get rid of that. Now this can't go down to five, so it must be three. And then this has to be two. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. We should probably think about this grouping in here. <clears throat> like, what can these be? Can't be one. We can't put a two on here because we can't use the one or the three. Can't be three. Can't be four. Can't be five because we can't pair it with the six or the four. Can't be six. So we're looking at the sevens, eights, and nines here. This one can never be a nine. This would be from six, seven, eight, and nine can't be eight but that's about it so it comes to me on this row we do know these are six sevens and nines this can't be a six so either way this is going to be an eight so if this is a seven we can't go down to six so we'd have to go up to eight and if it's a nine it has to go up to eight, down to eight okay good we're making progress we need a one in this region, and it can't go in these two, so it goes here. We also need a, oh, the six here. I should have just, uh, that one. This is a two. This is either seven or nine now because of this, and it's gonna give us a six, seven, eight, nine, so this is five. Good. Now, we also know that there has to be an eight in one of these two, but I don't know if that does too much for us. Yeah, it does. This can't be an 8, because it would break this 7, 9. If this is an 8, these have to be a 7, 9 pair. So this is not 8. This is 7. Therefore, this is 6. This is 8, 9, 9, 7. Good. All right, which way do we look next? Probably here, because I think this corner is going to be pretty good. Can't be one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, or nine, so therefore it just is a five. We call it a, a naked single or something like that. These are a one, two pair. That can't be two, so one and two. What else is the best place to look? Hmm. Let's try down in here, maybe. These have to be from seven, eight, or nine, because they can't be one, two, three, four, five, or six. This can't be seven. This is going to just be a nine, eight pair. 
because we can't again go down to seven and the nine is here. So this is eight, this is nine, this becomes seven. This has to be one and these have to be four, five, and we can do that, four and five. Now we're gonna know these pairings up here. So let's put them in, see if anything works for us. What do we have, six and eight? I don't think there is anything crossing over here yet, um, but we're gonna put these in anyway, because we'll come back to them in a second anyway. So uh, three and four and seven and nine, okay. We have those marked, so let's go back in and find another clue that we can use. Or a bit more of Sudoku we can use. So there has to be ones and twos. There we go. So we've got one, two, and one, two looking in here. So the ones and the twos have to go here. These have to be from eights and nines. Interestingly, there's nothing looking at those just yet. One of these is going to be a five. I guess I'll mark it. It's not super helpful though. Let's look at this guy here. What can you be? Can't be from one, two, three, or five. So we get six, seven, eight, and nine. And it can't have a nine on it because it would break the eight, nine here. This can't be six or eight, so it's seven. This guy could still be six or eight, but the seven says this is nine seven, and this is five. Good, that's what we needed. Now we have something else up here. This can't be from one, two, or three, six. So we're looking at two, four, eight. That's not a two. This is not an eight. Okay, so it's, it has a four on it. We just don't know exactly which way it goes, but that does tell us this is three and four. Okay, there we go. That helps us. This becomes six, this becomes eight. And that six here says this is six. This has become eight or nine because of the column. These are five, eight, and nine. This can't be five or eight. So it's nine. Just made sure I did that correctly first. Eight, five, that pushes this to be a four, which pushes this to be a two. This becomes seven, this becomes nine. This is a given seven, it appears to be. These are one and three, we can do that. One, three, good. Now we can just kind of fill all this stuff in and it should just go away. So we need a one and a four, we can do that. One, four. These three, including this guy, are going to be five, six, and eight. 6, 8 looks here, this is 5. This is 8, this is 6. 8 pushes the 9 and the 8. We now have a given here of 9. And this becomes 2, this becomes 1. So now this must be the 2, and this one has to be the 3. There we go. You solved the puzzle, solution is correct. Yeah, over 2,500 solves in 9 days, it's expected with the... Megan's Megan through three's puzzles because they are quite good and I, I know people look forward to them uh, to try to solve them so excellent puzzle as always um, if you like this one let me know about it and like comment subscribe all that kind of good stuff and we'll see you in the next one thanks a lot